In this video, you will learn how to cut and trim your own bags, save money, time, gas, or bus tickets from visiting the salon, never have to deal with bags being too long or annoying, and probably want to favorite this video so it will be easier for you to find it later on. Don't forget to check out my new book, which also has hundreds of more pages filled with great solutions to help you keep living the best life you've always wanted over on my blog, russostyles.com. And now let's start. Before you start, I suggest you blow dry and straighten your hair prior to cutting so you'll know exactly where your bangs fall. I'll explain why later in the video. Comb your crown area back as so, then push back the rest of your hair into a ponytail so it's out of the way for now. Now comb out your bangs in front of your face, and with a pintail comb, on the highest tip of your eyebrows, line it up and evenly part your bangs. This is where your bangs should start. Now repeat to the other side. It doesn't have to line up perfectly, this is just to help guide where your bangs should start and end. Now grab your hair in front, and line the top part so it's straight and even as well. Now tie into a higher ponytail so the hairs we just sectioned off won't fall back down. The width should only be 1 to 2 inches. You could make your bangs thicker though, it all really depends on your style. Comb your bangs again, and then grab it, and then flip it over, and with your other hand, keep it in place. The reason why I twisted it is because I am right-handed and I want my bangs to fall starting from the left side of my face. Twisting it allows my right hand to comfortably cut downwards rather than having to swing my arm all the way across and cut at a weird angle that has made me mess up before. So twisting it solves everything. Again, grab, twist, and hold. Comb the bottom section out and now we're going to be cutting diagonally downwards. With professional hair scissors, start cutting gradually, only half an inch off, in a downward motion to the ground. Cutting your own hair can sometimes be nerve-wracking. This is why you want to only cut off a little at a time. Repeat again. Trimming very little at a time will save you the nightmare of cutting your bangs too short. You also want to open and close the scissors constantly, as I'm doing, instead of one fast big cut across. Little cuts are better, remember that. Now let it go and comb it out evenly, then divide in half and with the shorter section start cutting upwards gradually down to create texture so that your bangs won't look too freshly cut and will have some edge to it. Next, grab and comb all your bangs together and repeat only to the ends cutting upwards. Take your time and be patient at it, and I promise you won't mess up. Your bangs should look like this after cutting. Mine are still a bit long, but this is the perfect length for styling. I'm bumping up my bangs, then curving them in, then spraying them in place, and there you have it. Now, the reason why you don't want to cut your bangs while wet is because wet hair is longer, and when you dry them, they will shrink up, and you're left off with a cut that's way too short. So cutting them dry is your best bet. And that's about it. I hope you guys learn something new, and take care, because I care. Bye.